This is my new bike and I absolutely love it. It is a Canyon Ultimate CFR and it's seriously light. It's UCI illegal light. In a size medium frame, which this is, it's just 641 grams, making it the lightest stock frame I've ever had. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. I'm gonna go through all the features on the bike, why I chose it over a more aerodynamic one, and why I selected all the different bits, and I'm gonna weigh it. Before we go any further, I'm gonna uh, take a picture of my bike and upload it to the Bike Vault in the GCN app so you guys can vote whether you think it's nice or super nice. Beginning with the frame, this is a CFR, which is Canyon's top of the range frame set. Sai has an Air Road CFR, which is the top of the range Air Road. But what tells you this is a CFR, which stands for Canyon Factory Racing, is this rather subtle logo that you get on the top tube. And there isn't really anything else on it that indicates that, as the shape of the frame is the same as the other Ultimates. But this one is quite a bit more special. In order for it to have gone on a diet and be lighter, the CFR makes use of a more sophisticated and refined carbon layup, and also some rather exotic carbon fibre in that layup too, namely something called Torre M40X. Now, Torre makes carbon for a lot of different bikes and bike brands, but there are different grades of carbon fibre, and M40X is said to be rather special, and it has a higher tensile strength and a higher tensile modulus than a lot of other carbon fibre used in other bikes. And I'm reliably informed that Canyon had to get special permission from the Japanese military to, to use it in my bike and the other CFRs. I guess you want to know why I chose the Ultimate though and didn't go for the Aero, as I do bang on about Aero all the time. Well, for a racing situation, I would want an aero bike, they are faster. But something I also really enjoy is just riding up hills as fast as I can. And in that instance, what I want is the lightest bike possible and something that's really stiff. And this is over a kilogram lighter than the aero without even trying. The other reason is I just really love the Canyon Ultimate. You may remember I, I, prior to this one, I had a Canyon Ultimate CF SLX. And I love the way that that bike handles, particularly on descents. But this one is lighter and it has disc brakes, which is amazing. I mean, that's, that's technological progress, isn't it? Speaking of which, I've got Shimano Jura Ace throughout and I've got a 160 rotor on the front and a 140 rotor on the rear. But to be honest, I think I'll probably change that. I'll probably put a 140 on because I don't weigh an awful lot and I feel like a 140 rotor is fine probably be a little bit more aero and a little bit lighter as well so gains um, and then I've got some nice light through axles on here as well which are hollow which saves quite a bit of weight and I'm using leverless through axles which come as standard on Canyon bikes and I really like them because they give a really nice clean look at the front of the bike you know when I spin it round you can see not having that lever there I just think it looks really clean. The wheels are zip Firecrest 303s, 40 millimeters deep, nice kind of all round wheel, but very light, you know, they're 1,350 grams a pair, so it helps keep the weight down. And they're also hookless and tubeless compatible. So I've got them set up tubeless with Pirelli P0 28 millimeter tires on there. And uh, the, the width of the rim actually works really nice with that 28 millimeter tire. It's a nice sort of flush shape. The bottle cages are Topeak carbon shuttle cages. They're just 25 grams a piece, so nice and light, and they look kind of stealthy, don't they? The black against the silver. And the saddle is a Seller Italia SLR Boost. This is quite a new saddle from Seller Italia, and it was actually a saddle that was recommended to me when I did the ID Match bike fit at their HQ with Manon, um, well, a good few months ago now. And to be honest, it just, I just find I've got on with it. Saddle choice is very personal, but I find it, yeah, I don't notice it when I'm riding it, so it's staying on. It's also very nice and light. It's got carbon rails and a nice big cutout as well. So yeah, helps keep the weight down. 
I've got a Shimano uh, Dura Ace power meter on the chain set. There's one 72.5 cranks and the chain rings are standard 53.39. The cassette is an 11.28, but I do swap out the, the gears. If I'm going to a mountainous area, I'll you know put an 11.32 on or something like that. And I find it works fine using an 11.32 with that standard Jura Ace rear mech as well. I've got speed play pedals on here, which I've been using for well over a year now. And I just find I, I get on really well with them and just like the engagement and the fact that you can clip in on both sides, which is useful when you're a GCM presenter, as we often struggle to clip in. They're not even the super light ones either. They do some mega light titanium axled ones, but these are just the standard steel ones. Uh, the cockpit is Canyon's beautiful one piece aero bar and stem. They do actually do a lighter one uh, for this bike, but this is a, a standard one off the previous Ultimate because I like the shape of it because it's got the standard drop bar on it. Also, it's got a 120 stem and it's a 41 centimeter wide bar, but I've got the integrated mount at the front, which works really nice with my Wahoo Roam computer. And you can see the junction box is tucked neatly underneath the well, underneath the stem, kind of like in the stem, you can see it there. So it's quite nice for sort of easy access if you need to charge your DI2 or check the level of your battery. I'm 185 centimeters and this is a size medium frame. And this size frame and how I've got it set up is what was recommended to me by the ID Match bike fit I had a few months ago. So as I mentioned, 120 uh, centimeter, uh, 120 millimeter stem, not 120 centimeters. And then um, I've also got my saddle height, which is 755 millimeters. Although right now it's about 820 millimeters. And that's because Alex Payton just borrowed this bike a second ago and I need to adjust it. I mean, it looks ludicrous, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like far too high. The saddle layback, so the tip of the saddle matched up to the center line of the bottom bracket, is 209 millimeters for those that are interested. And the distance of the saddle to the bars is 730 millimeters. And the cool little feature that I like on the, the Ultimate is the saddle adjustment bolt, because it's nice and integrated and hidden, but still functional. So you have this little rubber grommet at the back and you can just pop that out and then you have access to the bolt to adjust the seat post. And for those who aren't familiar with this design feature, by having the seat post bolt lower in, in the frame, you effectively increase the length of the seat post, meaning it can have greater deflection um, because it's fixed at a lower point. So quite an interesting idea, but it's just a really sort of neat design, isn't it? I know you've been waiting for this. Free up sound check. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, my, my legs have turned to jelly because I've been kneeling down so long. <laughs> I can't feel them. <laughs> I've got like pins and needles. <laughs> right. Oh, I'll try not to fall over. Ah. Right. Oh. Fruit, fruity. Now, having weighed this absolute weapon back at GCN Megabase, I can tell you that it's 6.4 kilograms, which is so light, but like, that's with everything that you can see on it here. So that's with the pedals and the head unit and the bottle cages on and everything, you know, it's fully functional. And, you know, I just think that's, that's without even trying. I've not like tried to make it as light as possible. If you started doing things like putting a, you know, a, a silly light, you know, a Schmolka seat post in there and a crazy light saddle, you know, Seller Italia make one that's 59 grams. You could instantly save, you know, a good almost 200 grams there, put in some crazy light wheels and tires, you know, knock off another half a kilo off the bike. And well, obviously take your, your bar tape off and go single ring, go full hill climb mode. And you're gonna be like, you know, low five kilos on a bike that has disc brakes. It's insane. And I just think, you know, I just can't wait to ride up some mountains on it. And yeah, perhaps even turn it into full hill climb mode. Sakalobra beckons. I still want to go back there and ride up as quick as I can. So sub 30 on Sakalobra. I'm hoping that this is the bike that's gonna, gonna help me do it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at my new bike. I'm a very lucky boy indeed. And if you haven't, please give it a thumbs up. I just love lightweight climbing bikes. I know aero bikes are faster, but you know, when you ride uphill, a bike like this just feels amazing. But let us know what you, your thoughts are 
in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, God, I've got pins and needles again. Oh, God. Ugh.